Is your Synology NAS running low on storage space? Or do you just want to replace one of the drives to increase your available storage? In this video, I'm gonna walk you through the exact steps that I took to expand the storage pool and volume on my Synology NAS. Let's do this. Synology has a lot of help articles about the topics of replacing drives and expanding storage, but it can get really overwhelming and confusing quickly. So I'll take you step-by-step step through the process. I do recommend that even after watching this video, you should check out the help articles just in case the steps vary for your hardware or software configuration. Most importantly, remember to back up your data before you get started. Just in case you encounter any issues during the process, I of course cannot guarantee the protection of your data. Before we dive in, a few things to note. I'm doing this on a Synology DS220 Plus. That's a two bay drive and it's running DSM 7.0. I'm gonna be replacing two four terabyte drives with two 12 terabyte drives. Both the old and the new drives are Seagate Iron Wolf NAS hard disk drives. My NAS is using the Synology Hybrid RAID, or SHR, with data protection for one drive fault tolerance. Your steps and needs may vary if you have a different hardware, software, or RAID configuration. Here is the 10-step process that I'm going to walk you through. First, back up your data. Second, power off the NAS. Third, replace drive one with a larger drive. Fourth, power on the NAS. Fifth, repair drive one. Six, power off the NAS. Seven, replace drive two with a larger disc. Eight, power on the NAS. Nine, repair drive two. And 10, reallocate your storage space. All right, let's jump right into replacing these drives. So I am logged in to my Synology NAS, and I'm gonna go ahead and click on this icon on the top left and open up the storage manager. Now in the storage manager, I see a warning saying there's an issue with storage pool one. So if I go to storage pool one, it says that volume one is running low on space. To increase the available space, you can add additional drives. And in my case, I'm running a, a two bay Synology DS220 Plus, it's just a two bay drive. So what I need to do if I wanna increase the space is to replace my existing drives with new larger drives. And to do that, I'm currently using four terabyte drives, I'm gonna replace each of these with a 12 terabyte drive. So I'm gonna shut down the NAS, pop out drive one, and then insert the new 12 terabyte uh, drive. And I'm gonna go over now and do that and we can see what that looks like. Okay, so I'm over here at my NAS. Again, this is the DS220 Plus and I've already backed up my data. So now I'm gonna go ahead and power this down. You can see the light flashing, it's beeping, that confirms it is currently shutting down. And we'll just give that a moment for it to complete. All right, all the lights are off, so I can see that the NAS is now shut down. I can go ahead and pop off this cover. And I'm going to remove drive one. You just push it on the top and then pull out the drive. So this is the older four terabyte drive that I was using. I'm using the Seagate Iron Wolf NAS. You just pop off these side brackets here and remove the NAS from this holder. Here's the new Seagate Iron Wolf 12 terabyte HDD. So I'll go ahead and put this in, pop the brackets back on the side, you want to make sure you align the drive with the holes, so this can easily pop back in. Yeah, click confirms it's in. I'll put the other side in now. Now I'm gonna insert the new drive back into drive one. Now I can put this cover back on. 
hit the power button, wait for it to boot back up. So after it booted up, it started making a beeping sound, which is expected. We can go back on the computer now and see what that means. All right, so now we are back on the computer, logged into the NAS, and you can see there's a critical issue alert with storage pool one, which is expected after replacing it, uh, replacing drive one with a new and larger HDD. So let's hop over to the storage page, and I can see it says that the storage pool has degraded. Again, this is expected to happen um, after what I just did. So um, in this situation, we're gonna need to repair this drive. So I'm gonna click repair. And yes, we want to repair drive one, about 10.9 terabytes. Again, it was a 12 terabyte drive that I put in. Let's hit next. We will go ahead and hit apply. It says all data on the newly added drive will be erased. That's fine because it's a new drive. I don't have any of my own data on it. So I'll hit okay. So now you can see it has changed to to a healthy status here for drive one, which is 10.9 terabytes. This is the new larger one that I just installed and you can see that drive two still has the older and smaller 3.66 terabyte um, drive size remaining. Now up here you can see the repairing process is ongoing. So we need to wait for this repair process to complete. It's estimating over eight hours to repair this drive. This typically does take a very long time. So we'll come back here after this has completed the repair process. All right, so since it said it was gonna take about eight hours to repair the drive, and it was pretty late at night, I just let it run overnight. So when I came back in the morning, this is what I'm seeing. So I still have a warning on storage pool one because of the low space. Now, yes, I did expand drive one, but I've yet to expand drive two. So now we're gonna go back and repeat the process on the NAS, swap out the older four terabyte drive with a new 12 terabyte drive. All right, so we're back at the NAS. We've already replaced drive number one. Now it's time to replace drive two. So once again, I'm gonna power down the NAS. Okay, the NAS is powered down, so I'll pop off the cover again and remove drive number two. And to get this out, you're going to want to pop off the side rails. Now I'll put in the new 12 terabyte drive. Pop the side rails back on. Okay, with a good snug fit, I'll go ahead and pop it back into the NAS. And put the cover back on. And then turn it back on. And wait a few minutes for it to boot back up. If, like me, your NAS is a bit dusty from sitting in one place for a long time, while it's booting back up, this could be a good chance to go ahead and just dust it off. Okay, so it booted back up and it's beeping once again, which is expected. You can even see it has a, a yellow or orange light at the status symbol right now. So let's head back on the computer and see what's going on. Okay, so we just replaced drive number two. I'm back on the computer and once again, we have that critical alert message saying there's an issue with storage pool one. Again, this is expected. So I'll head over to storage pool one and we are gonna wanna repair this now. And as expected, it's showing that drive two now needs to be repaired since this is the one that we just replaced. So I'll hit next. And it asks me, or I should say it tells me that this will expand the storage pool capacity and result in unallocated space. If you plan on using only a single volume, you can further allocate that capacity to volume one and expand it. So I wanna expand the capacity of volume one to take advantage of the larger drive that I just installed. And of course, as it says, you could also do this later if you weren't quite sure yet. So hit next, and it says that it will repair drive number two, and it will estimate that I'll have um, just over 11 terabytes of capacity after doing that. So we'll go ahead and hit apply. And I am fine with it erasing drive number two because I have not put any of my data on it yet. So I'll hit continue. And there we go. So now both drives show a healthy status and it's currently in the repair process. Um, you can see it's initializing that drive right now for the repair mode and uh, I can hear the drive is still currently beeping. 
and that should wrap up here pretty soon. Okay, so now it's repairing and it's estimating about five hours left, so potentially a bit faster than it took to do the first drive. So I'll leave it here and come back when this has finished repairing. So the second drive has finished repairing. We can see that the overall system is healthy. Storage pool one in volume one is also healthy. If we click into this, we can see that my RAID type is still uh, SHR. My total capacity is just shy of 11 terabytes. Again, I put a 12 terabyte uh, hard disk drive in. And you can see drive one and drive two both have you know, that 12 terabyte drive um, in there. One thing I do wanna point out, because this question comes up is, after making this change, what about the data, the files that I had on my original storage drive? Well, I can show you that I still have all my files. So here's file station. These are the folders that I had in here on the original drives, and all the folders and the contents within them are still here. Um, because by replacing one drive at a time, it is you know making the redundancy and bringing that across onto the new drives. So I wanted to show that as well. So that's how you expand the storage pool or volume on a Synology NAS. Let me know in the comments how the process went for you or if you had to take any unique steps because of your hardware, software, or RAID configuration. If you're interested in my complete home networking setup, then you're gonna wanna check out this video here. Hit the like button if you found this helpful and subscribe to the channel for tech reviews and tutorials that help you become more productive. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.